Five barriers to real estate. Number one, we all get a little bit jealous of that friend of ours that's won a $20 million lottery. Maybe, unconscious. Not saying that we're jealous people in general, but the reality is jealousy is what kills this industry. You look at somebody who just lost a listing against them, you like to take that shit in personal, yeah? Try not to be jealous. Just get rid of the word jealousy overall. The second topic, every single one of you guys, you want everything done yesterday, not succeeding as fast as you actually would like to. The biggest problem that we have as sales agents is that we actually want that next listing tomorrow. We want the sale today. Strongly suggest that you become more patient. So it doesn't matter or you don't have a listing right now, I actually want you guys to focus on building your sales pipeline by prospecting more, okay? They will come. Majority of our listings that we are getting right now, it's because we've prospected these listings like five years ago. Our 14 South Road listing, we had it for six months. Six months it took us to try and sell this. Of course I wanted that property to be sold 15 years ago, but it didn't. Try to become more patient because patience is a skill that you can work on over time. Disappointment in others is a big thing. One of the most beautiful things that I've learned in life is not to expect from others. Try not to expect, especially when it comes to real estate deals. Oh, I gave Bridget this listing and now you know I shared my commission with Bridget so now Bridget is not sharing the next commission with me or well, I gave my listing to Michael and Michael's gone out they listed that property by himself so try not to expect from others if you can the less you expect from others in this specific industry even in life the more comfortable you become in life so be very self-reliant simply don't look at anybody else but go out there prospect yourself and go out there get that listing yourself self-reliant self-discipline is a big thing here so try not to expect shit from others my vendor said they'll take an offer of seven hundred thousand dollars and now he's gone back to 750 that was your expectation money issues oh my God, everyone's got this problem. One of the biggest reasons why I actually run thousand miles an hour is because I have money issues as well, don't get me wrong. Why? Because I've actually overcommitted myself financially. You're probably thinking, oh, it's okay, but you're gonna go out there, close this deal, but I actually get it. I've been in your seats right now. I was only in your seat not long ago. I'm in your seat every single month when I have a bad month. I'm in your seat fucking six years ago. I was there. How do you overcome the money? What's real estate all about? Is real estate about properties? No, it's about people. So people buy off people, they like people, sell people they like. So what's your one job that you have to do in real estate? Talk to people. And the more people you speak to, the more opportunities you create. So this game is all about numbers. Try to prospect as often as you can and then you can add efficiency, you can add discipline to it as well. Have your sales pipeline, have all those lists of prospects lined up a day before you come into work. If you're in bed at nine o'clock, I strongly suggest that you have a line of every single lead that you're about to call the next day. 8.30 in the morning, pick up the phone and just start. This is Ari from Z Real Estate. You inspected one of my properties on Saturday at 22 John Street. Did you have any further interest on this property? If you didn't have any further interest in this property, did you have any investments in this specific location? We sell all over Melbourne. Did you have any finance needs? I strongly suggest that you speak to a buyer's advocate. Let him negotiate for yourself because you're going to end up buying a property anyways instead of paying $2 million for it. Most likely his negotiation skill will probably get you this exact same property at $1.9 million because you don't have the same skill set as him. Why? Because you're probably most likely you're going to make an emotional decision rather than a rational decision. Let us recommend you to these people. Did you like this property? Did you not like this property? What did you like about it? What didn't you like about it? Do you have your finances organized? Do you need to sell your existing property? We've already got an existing relationship with our agent. No problem at all. Let's give you a second opinion. We're a different breed of estate agency. Logan is your cousin, Ash. You'll always give your listing to Logan and Logan's quoted your property around $1.2 to 1.3. And then all of a sudden I come in with my fucking Z energy. So I just sold that property for 1.35 and then I got that one at 1.45. I got some off-market buyers. Would you like me to introduce them to you? So all of a sudden you just fucked your cousin over. There is no loyalty because with money, there is no loyalty. Your cousin doesn't pay your fucking bills. So try not to expect anything from landlords. Try not to expect anything from your vendors. Try not to expect anything from buyers. Buyers are liars and sellers are pretenders. They tell you that they're not going to take an offer of 1.4 million dollars. Next minute they sell for 1.1. The sellers majority of the time are controlling your conversation. If a seller is telling you that I'm not going to take an offer of less than 4 million dollars, guess what he's doing? He's got a mindset of trying to sell you to you. So you know why I appointed Kamal from Z Real Estate? Because you're the best fucking state agent out there that there is. So he's, he's actually trying to bring out the best out of you saying my property is worth it. So stick to that fucking four million. Go out there, find me that four million dollar buyer. I don't give a shit what's happening in the marketplace. Why? Because he's actually smarter than you because he's done more real estate transactions than all of us combined. That's when you know that you're dealing with a very smart developer. You got the steps? Jealousy. Don't be jealous of your competition. I always wish for my competition to lose against me because you win more from losing a deal than you do from winning. It's a lesson learned. How do you become more skilled in the marketplace? Can you become more skilled? Fucking earth. Can you become more valuable to the marketplace? Yes. Don't expect anything from anybody else. Don't expect anything from your colleagues. This is the expectation that you should have here from yourself because you're only as good as your last sale that you did. You're only as good as the last day that you prospected. That's why efficiency comes in. That's why consistency comes in. Don't want every single thing that you want you wanted to happen yesterday. Learn how to be patient, okay? It took me three years before I even got my first listing, okay? So if you can beat three years, you're fucking fantabulous. Is that even a word? Fuck it. We just invented a new word. Fantabulous, okay? So learn how to be patient. And that's something you guys can work on over time, yeah? And the only thing that I want you guys to do is consistently, and I want you guys to persist non-stop prospecting. The person that becomes very good at prospecting is a person that actually becomes very good at listing because houses they sell themselves, all you need to do is one thing, prospect consistently because the objection handling they will get with when it comes to over the phone, then when you're dealing with a buyer saying the lounge is too small, you'll be able to like, fuck this. I've had some, you know, old fuck call me multiple names. What's this lounge <laughs> objection handling? So it's the person that you become whilst you're prospecting. That's what's so important, okay? Never ever doubt yourself. I believe that you will do very well. This is why you're in this room. The minute that you doubt yourself and you've got a plan 
B, you're fucked already. This is what I want you guys to have the attitude of not like focusing your energy on like non-dollar productive shit. It needs to be dollar productive. Pick up the phone and dial. 